Hello everyone, this is Jackie Williams. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I want to share the brand new A Little Latte Suite, which includes these, this very cute Latte Love bundle. And you can see it's coffee themed, but it could also be tea or hot chocolate or whatever hot drink you want it to be. And we have some really cute, fun images of cups and then some additional dyes with the French press and the, the coffee pot. And my personal favorite are these little teacups over here. Now this suite also includes some papers and there are 12 sheets. I've just got six out for room on my desk. And one of the fun things is the dies actually fit around these cups for some easy projects. And I'll share with you some projects using that. And then you've got the splashes. And then these ones I thought were kind of strange. And then I worked out that they're actually to die cut to be actually um, the coffee in the pot or in the cup, whichever you prefer. And then the other sides are a little brighter and uh, some of them are just a little more solid or general with the stripes so they can be used even outside of the latte theme. And then the suite also includes these really cute adhesive swirl gems. Hopefully you can see that they all have these little um, darker swirls on them and then this polka dotted burlap trim. Okay, so let's get started on our project today. So we'll start with a card base of thick basic white. My basic white is five and a half inches by eight and a quarter. Yours might be eight and a half, so it will just be a tiny fraction larger than, than mine. And then I'm going to have a mat of Lost Lagoon and then another layer of basic white. So I'm just going to actually set those aside for now. We'll just work on this top layer. And I've chosen for this project to go a little more monochromatic. Well, for this version of the project, I have some other versions to share with you. And I have got the Lost Lagoon and white striped paper, and I've just taken a heart die. Die cut a little heart on the end of each strip. And I've made these varying widths from one and a half to one and a quarter to one and an eighth. You could have them all the same if you wanted. I'm actually gonna just set those aside for the minute. And let's do a little stamping on this piece. Now you could leave this part off if you wanna have more of a clean look, but I'm gonna use a little bit of pecan pie which I find this is the perfect color for a coffee theme. And I'm gonna take that, that little um, coffee ring. I quite like this. I don't know why, because they're actually annoying in real life, but somehow they're cute on a card. And just stamp a few of those and the little splash, which is quite realistic. Now, uh, I've done a few other projects where I've made this quite watercolory and grungy, you could do that, or you could just leave it kind of nice, clean and crisp like this is. Or you could even leave that part off if you don't like the stained table sort of look. Okay, then let's go ahead and put these on. And I'm going to start with the middle piece. I'm just gonna kind of maybe decide how I want them. I could put them on all fairly evenly or I could um, stagger them just a little. I think I might stagger them just a little. And then I'll just trim off the excess. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my mat. And I'm gonna use the edge of my scissors. I'm just gonna rough that up a bit. You could leave it if you just like more of a clean look. I do think the coffee look lends itself to a little bit of grunge. Okay, now I've actually cut out that French press die out of the oxidized copper paper. The copper looks really nice with both the pecan pie, but also with a nice contrast with the blue. Now I'm going to put my French press on this Thoughtful Moments label. These are quite pretty and it's quite a nice shape for the French press. Now I'm gonna just put a little bit of that pecan pie ink down here at the bottom, just so my French press is kind of sitting on something. 
Okay, and we'll just put that about there. And then with the French press, I found it easiest to just kind of decide about where I want it to sit. I think I like it hanging off just a little. And then to just kind of slot that coffee. So this is the coffee that I've cut out using a die, using those swirly papers that I pointed out in the beginning of the video. Now I'm putting this on with dimensionals, just over top. And next, I just wanna add some cups. I think these teacups are just so cute. Now these dies, there's two teacup dies and they do cut out mirror images. So you just want to be aware of that. And I wondered initially why there was a little slit in there and there may be another purpose, but how cute is this? It also allows you to just stack up those cups like this. So if we want to have our three blues together, I actually think I just prefer it with two cups. And then another cute little detail in the dies is there is a tiny die that looks like this. And I've cut that out of that same printed paper. And it's just to fill your tiny cup with coffee like this. How adorable is that? Now, actually, before I put these on, I'm just gonna add a little bit of ink at the bottom. You could also do this with Versamark, just to give it a little bit of shading without um, necessarily browning it, if you don't like that effect. All right, now I'm just gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back and that will also secure them together. And then let's put these cuties there. How fun is that? Now we just need our words. And let's stamp our words in early espresso just to bring a little bit more of that dark brown. We have quite a bit of that copper pecan color and a lot of blue. I think I'll just go for some small words for this one. We do have some cute dies to cut these out, but I think I, well, I'm just going to scissor them because I actually want to separate them. I've always liked the look of hand cut sentiments there we go, and so we've got one on the cup and one down below, just for a little bit more interest. Then I'd like to tuck a piece of our polka dotted trim. But if I fold it like this, then you've got one side with polka dots and one without. So I'm just gonna do a little bow trickery and just have it like this. So it looks like it's folded, but it's really not. We just need to adhere those together. Just gonna tuck that in there like so. Cute. Okay, then the last thing we need to use are embellishments. There we go. Now I've used one of each color, but of course you could just use all one color or whatever, whatever works. And there we go. There's our very cute coffee card. Now here's another version that looks very different, but it's actually the same layout. I've just used a different color on the background and different papers. And then instead of using the French press, I have used the coffee cups just right out of the designer series paper. So that makes for a very quick card that's already colored and ready to go. And this one, I've stamped this word twice, once in early espresso, once in lost lagoon, and then just cut out that part and put it over top. So which one of these appeals to you the most? Now I do have some other samples to share with you. So these are ones that I made for some team swaps recently. Again, these are using the paper directly. And the nice thing is that there's a die, so those just cut out really nice and easily. And this one is a bit of a fun fold. And I do have a video posted on YouTube to show you how to make this one as well. Then this next sample is actually another swap. This one not made by me, this one's made by Karen Hadler. And just using those cute teacups again and the little splatter stamps and just made a little rainbow of colors to match the papers behind. And then this sample is one that I really like too. It, it again uses those papers, this time for a really grungy look. Um, the background, we've got those splatter and coffee stains and then uh, sprayed it with water and got the ink all running for, for a, a spilled sort of an effect. 
and just did that one in two different colorways. And then this sample is actually part of my A Little Latte online class. So you can order the PDF on the link below the video. And I've taken photos at every step and written out instructions so it's nice and easy to follow. So that one is, is quite fun and, and fresh. And this project is also included in the class. So this one's a bit of a, of a fun fold. That one, this one makes use of all the dyes, basically. And if you want different colors, you can easily just change up those colors to suit whatever you prefer. So check out that link below the video for that online class. So there you go. That gives you lots of samples and inspiration. I hope you enjoyed that. If you know someone who enjoys a cup of coffee, loves this sweet, and would enjoy this video, please share with them. Please also leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. And be sure to subscribe. So I'll see you next video. This is Jackie Williams.